What's up, everybody? Guys, thank you for checking out this video. Yeah, it's been like three months or a month since I post. Please forgive me with that. You know, right now we're looking at the other do or the other dually, the other truck. So we painted the bezels on the headlight or the tail lights for this truck to white. It pops and looks better than black. And it's kind of like once the bumper comes in, it's gonna complement those tail lights. Once I put the bumper back on, this truck is good. Uh, digital dash went out. So we gotta figure out what's wrong with that. Um, it's pretty much been sitting for a while. We got the grill making. Now guys, what you guys all been waiting for, you seen the clickbait on the generator welder on the back of the truck. So, let's see if we can't see it. So guys, on a scale of one to 10, what do you guys think? Besides the gas tank, cause that's gonna be there regardless, unless I move it in the future. So I kept the red on the inside to give it that awesome, still keep that Lincoln look. You know, it's that red. I think that complements it pretty well. This is what the face plate looks like on this Lincoln Ranger 10,000. There's my welding lead connection. And this is where our toolbox is gonna be right up in this area right here. Let me zoom out. Right up in this area. The only reason why I changed the way I was fitting it up is because of that. You see that right there? The gas filter and the oil uh the oil uh filter that's the reason why i moved it because i wouldn't be able to get to it if it was facing the opposite way so this is the way i'm chosen to go with it's got that new paint job it probably looks black to you guys but it's like a, a, a sapphire a blue sapphire so at night or when the sun hits it just right it'd be like a purple and then when it's dark it'd be black but that's where it is Right behind the cab fits perfectly. I got enough space in between. This exhaust pipe right here, I'm probably gonna end up cutting that off or putting the thing to block the heat from hitting against the glass or I'm gonna probably figure out something with that or modify it, take it off, make it where it has a little stack coming up. That'd be something cool. But uh, this is the home. I gotta get a cover for it. Um, I might go a cheap route and just get a rinky dink cover or I might just get a cover from Lincoln I don't know yet for sure um, uh, Let's see what else. Uh, yeah, the gas tanks right there got my tires got new valve stems put in it For the dually. Uh, still got the you know the bumper half painted the bed rustic looking but and then the welder right on the back I mean, that pretty much blends in with the back of the truck if I paint the truck black, which I'm going to do. Copper lines on the, the gas tank still. There's going to be a cover to go over top, and it's going to be a toolbox area right here. On the back side of the engine drive is going to be probably where the acetylene and propane, or acetylene propane, acetylene oxid acetylene tank uh, holder thing here. Battery, I might figure out a little better spot for the battery. Cause it's like right there but that's that you got to change the oil in the truck this is what the truck looks like underneath the hood I had to buy a um a new distributor which is in the back because the old distributor is rusted so the new distributor came with wires that had been carefully zip tied off the thing uh that's the carburetor from the c10 which caught on fire and i put the new one on the c10 and radiator supports so this radiator came out of an 85 this truck has a 77 so the radiator shorter so this is made some aluminum brackets out of some aluminum flat stock drill the hole drilled it into here and drilled it into the frame of the truck that's what supports the fan shroud because the fan shroud don't fit because the radiator and the fan shroud are from a c uh no 85 c10 so the original one is all short and stubby. This is a newer upgrade model and it don't move. It does its job. It holds the radiator back. Now it does what I needed for it to do. Thermostat was bad. So replaced the thermostat and had to get a new housing. And on top of that, the radiator hose I bought, I had to cut it because it needed to be a special fit. Um, let's see what else what else what else did we do? Um uh, you know the headlights put the headlight bezels back on, so that looks great because it looks like a truck now and not a Franken truck. 
Um, uh, I think that's it. I mean, got a few leaks here and there, but I mean, it ain't nothing to cry home to mom about. But uh, what else? What else? I think that's it, guys. Um, now we're about to change the oil in the dually because it's due for an oil change. I think. I can't remember the last time I changed the oil. I mean, I think I changed it when I first got it, but I got to change it again. But, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, so what we're going to do here is we got to redrill some holes for the welder to bolt it down on this side. But right now, you see these two little, these holes, little holes right here? <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to weld the plate to here to the top and bring it all the way down. Put a bolt, one bolt in, one bolt in. So it's going to be six bolts holding this down. It's going to be two and then two on the other side and we're gonna build off of that plate for the shelf for the box so we're gonna come down with some plate make a box come back up you know make a box for the welding leads possibly the welding leads or probably necessities and then we're probably gonna make some lead rails where it runs the wires run from here probably around somewhere and then somewhere out in the back or something we'll figure it out but on the truck we got some new addition to the C10. The grill is coming soon. We gotta order some parts. But uh, yeah, we got some chrome rails on the back. The chrome rails came off of a short bed, but what we did was split the difference from the front to the back. And I think that looks pretty darn well, good. And it's pretty much lined even up right there as you can see. And then on the back, we got tail lights. Ow. Ouch. That hurt. Thorn bush. All right, y'all. You guys have a great one. Take it easy, drive safe, and have a good weekend. Bye.